Nikol Pashinyan visits the flood-affected settlements of Lori province and talks with the residents. The U.S. Assistant Secretary of State will visit Armenia. O'Brien will discuss with senior government officials U.S. support for progress toward a strong and dignified peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan. We support efforts aimed at ensuring peace and security in the South Caucasus, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Attack on the Prime Minister of Denmark, the attacker is arrested. Paris will train 4,500 soldiers of the armed forces of Ukraine, Macron. 73% of Ukraine's terminal power plants are destroyed, Schmigal. Stoltenberg abandons his intention to create a $100 billion military aid fund for Ukraine. The Israel Defense Forces is on the UN blacklist. The United States may increase its nuclear arsenal to counter growing threats from Russia, China and other adversaries, the White House. Guterres calls on Russia and the United States to start negotiations on nuclear weapons.